over half of the Scottish nights are not suitable for astral photography. And I think it's safe to say that tonight may be prime deep sky astral imaging time. So what do these specifically special nights consist of? Well, preferably running on a weekend, clear skies and low winds. I think we're good to go. <laughs> Over the past few months I've noticed a lot of new people joining the channel. Thank you! And a lot of you guys will be relatively new to astrophotography and will be wanting to know how to take it up. And I was in the same position a year ago this month. And the whole reason I bring this up is because you guys will be seeing my equipment and be thinking, that's where I need to be now. Instead of thinking that's where you need to be now, think about that as a progression point. So think about I want to be there in a year's time from now and what do I need to do now to get there? And now you guys are going to be thinking, okay well Helena that's fair enough, but how can I get there? And I'm going to give you one piece of advice that I wish I'd known when I'd started astrophotography. Number one is learn your way around the night sky and I know it seems deadly obvious to you that of course you're going to have to know where things are in the sky to carry out astrophotography. But it is something that's overlooked and the reason I'm standing behind my star chart is that's my number one method that I recommend to everyone for learning the way around the night sky. And yes there are plenty of apps for your phone that you can use, Skyview is one that I use and it is really really super but the problem with this is you ruin your night vision with the glare from the screen and that's why I recommend a head torch with red light standing with a book and a star chart. Let's get back into the video. Hi guys, how's it going? I'm back inside in the warm now after a very successful imaging session on the Pinwheel Galaxy. As per usual, we're going to jump into Fix Insight and I'm going to show you what I've managed to get out of the data. This is probably not going to be my final edit. I'm probably going to make a few more tweaks before the final photo is created. So here we are. This is M101, the Pinwheel Galaxy. I'm going to put up somewhere on the screen a comparison to when I shot this around about a year ago from now. It's a really special target to me as it was my first official deep sky target. And I was so, so happy when the image came through in the garden 12 months ago. Hopefully you can see a bit of improvement in the images. This is just due to doing a photography for a longer period of time and also a large change in equipment.
I also managed to go out and shoot M51 at the Whirlpool Galaxy, which is another one of my favourites. Again, I'll put up what it looked like a year ago here. I'm sort of making my way around all of the targets I shot last year and doing sort of a one year anniversary edition of them. This and M101 are the longest integration times I've ever done on a target. They were both between four to six hours and it has really benefited the quality of the data. That, along with the longer sub exposures, I was pulling off 240 second subs rather than 120 second subs, which is double the time. To be fair, I really could have pushed for more contrast within the galaxy arms and the actual structure, and I could have bumped up the saturation a little bit more, but I think the image turned out quite okay. <laughs> Let me know down in the comments below which one you prefer, whether that's just off of my photos or in general, which galaxy is your favourite? They're both really special to me as the two of them have a really sentimental value because when I was starting my astrophotography journey, I made my way around all of the targets in the plough. I really hope you guys enjoyed today's imaging vlog. I'm going to try and get a proper lighting setup out there this summer because a lot of the tutorials I want to carry out require practical elements and it's best for me to be explaining things while I'm out on the field. I really hope you guys are staying safe and well and managing to get under the clear skies whenever you can. Thank you so much for watching and clear skies guys.